Last but not least in this series, this video series of five videos is treatment options for NAD+. Probably the most important one, the one that I'm um, sure you watch the other four videos to understand more about NAD+, but this is where it all boils down to how do I get treated for NAD+. Now, what I'm not gonna go into is how to boost your own NAD+, which we kind of mentioned in the first series, which is eating a good diet, um, experimenting with fasting, and doing high intensity exercise. This is gonna be focused on the treatment options for NAD+. So first of all, I like to say that NAD Plus does not have an oral supplement. Uh, I was really excited when the first NAD Plus supplements came out on the market uh, called nicotinamide riboside. I used a bunch of them, they're fairly expensive, and I just did not see the clinical benefit. And over time we learned that although NAD Plus is wonderful and has lots of research and showing lots of, of promise, the NAD Plus supplements just don't exist yet. They're just not there. So there's more research, there's more uh, production, there's more science that needs to go into creating an oral supplement, but suffice it to say, NAD Plus in the oral version does not work. Um, now, other people can disagree with me, that's fine, but as far as I've seen, the amount of money you spend on supplements is in no comparison to just one shot. You notice a completely different, di uh, completely different um, benefits when you do shots versus pills. And um, in my opinion, you can spend a very little money on no benefit, or you can spend a little bit more money and get the benefit you're looking for. Uh, so nicotin nicotinamide riboside is the oral version that exists right now. It's poorly absorbed and it's expensive. That's what this diagram is trying to show you, but you don't need to know the, 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 the details of it. Uh, NMN, nicotinamide mononucleotide, is better absorbed from what I understand. It is expensive, it's not actually available yet, and maybe that's gonna show the next promise as far as an NAD plus oral booster. Um, whereas NAD plus IV and IM, which is the uh, muscle, muscle injection, has 100% absorption. So why mess with things that may not be absorbed, may not do what it needs to do at all, when you can get 100% absorption? So that's what we're gonna focus on. As far as NAD plus bioavailability, that's a fancy word of saying like, how much did I take actually get into my system and actually do anything? And usually I like to do good, better, best. In this scenario, it's worst, better, best. The worst version is pills. It's not very useful at all. The better version is shots and the best version is IV. So we're gonna get into those. Here's the, the most popular pill version. They're a good company. It's a good product. It just doesn't work that well. Here's the shots. Here's the, the lovely lady getting her infusion in peace. Um, so let's first talk about NAD shots. Of course, it's a little more painful. It is an injection. You can do it in the arm or the butt. It just needs to go in the, the muscle tissue, basically. The good news about it is there's 100% absorption. You can do it in our office. You can even take home shots and do them at home. So you can do them more regularly without, without having to make the, the trip into our office. They're very well tolerated. The bad news, it's a lower dosage than IV. You can only get about 10% of the max dose you can get via IV. So any of these shots are wonderful, but it's gonna cause a lot more pain because basically with an IV, you get one needle, you get the IV, you can get 10 times the dose. Whereas these, you gotta get 10 shots to get to the same dose of the IV. NAD plus infusions, these are considered the king of the jungle, the best, but it's not without side effects. So the good news is you get the most powerful benefits with IV infusions. The bad news is you can only do it inside of the office um, with a nurse and an infusion center. Um, there are more side effects, which we'll get to with NAD plus infusions. And of course it takes longer because you're getting more of the dose. This is one of the few infusions where the patients tell us uh, they need to slow down. Usually um, we tell patients, no, you need to go slower. You need to wait for this vitamin to drip into you. If you rush it, then you're kind of rushing your system. This is one of those ones where the patients tell us, I can't go that fast, okay? As far as dosing, these are kind of my standard dosing protocol and high dose protocol. There's a bunch of hoopla about how much to do. The deal is the more NAD plus you take, the more it stimulates the sirtuins and benefits all the anti-aging DNA repair and all that stuff. So the more you do, the more benefit. That being said, there is a diminishing returns. So most people need to stick to the standard dosing protocol instead of jumping to the high dose protocol. But there are people out there, elite athletes and people that really want that, that extra benefit and they'll go to the high dose. The standard dose protocol is about 250 to 500 milligrams. I left this in milligrams, so in case you're going somewhere else and they have a different concentration of some sort than we do, then you can easily convert it. So you're looking for 250 milligrams to 500 milligrams per infusion. In our world, that's 2.5 milliliters to five milliliters. That's about equal to one to five shots, anywhere from the lowest all the way to the highest. This has the most benefit and the least side effects. It's not no side effects, it's just least side effects. And it's a good bang for the buck. When you get into the high dose protocols, 
That's where you're in 750 milligrams to 1,000 milligrams. That's anywhere from 7.5 mLs to 10 mLs. In our world, your, your provider may have a different dosing or something. Uh, that's about seven to 10 shots in one infusion, basically. There's more benefits, but there's more side effects. There's a bigger cost with the biggest benefit. Um, what I want to talk about is the, the time it takes to get these infusions. And I, I think it's it, talk about it future in the future, but I'll go ahead and mention it. Most people can get about 250 milligrams in per hour. Sometimes if you're more sensitive or sluggish, it can take two hours, but this is an infusion that you don't want to go very fast. So if it takes you an hour to get 250 milligrams, then by the time you get to a thousand milligrams, you're looking at a four hour infusion. Now I, I've heard through the grapevine that the NFL players use NAD plus and they like to compete to see who can get NAD plus in the fastest. And this is completely unheard of, but apparently the record around one of the locker rooms I heard was 12 minutes to get a thousand milligrams in. I can get it in in about three hours and I feel pretty uh, like a Superman with that, but I feel like death for three hours. So how that guy can get it in 12 minutes, I have no idea. When we do NAD plus infusions, and most people do this as well, you want to add in the cofactors associated with NAD plus. When you give NAD plus via an IV, you're giving a mega dose of NAD plus to the body, and it's gonna speed up all kinds of chemical reactions, all kinds of biochemical beneficial reactions. And so you wanna give the other cofactors that are needed for that NAD plus to do what it needs to, or just kind of wasting some of the molecules, wasting some of the money because it couldn't do what it needed to, and then it just became water soluble and you urinated it out. So in our IV infusions, we include, of course, the IV NAD plus. We include a Myers cocktail, which has a B complex B12 vitamin C magnesium. I won't get into the details, but we also add cofactors that are useful for NAD plus. Those are glycine, taurine, and carnitine. There are, of course, more cofactors, but I found these are the most important ones. And if you're eating a good diet, then you should have most of those cofactors in your bloodstream already. I always love giving IV glutathione. NAD plus is not really known in the detox world, but anytime you stimulate energy processes, you're gonna stimulate the detoxification processes, which means toxins are gonna be more available to the body. So it's a good time to get some IV glutathione to mop up those toxins and take them to the urine while they're available. Some people like to do oral trimethylglycine, which is also known as TMG. That's a lot easier to say than trimethylglycine. TMG pills are pretty easy to come by. They're not that expensive. NAD Plus is a powerful demethylator, which is kind of backwards because we in functional medicine talk all the time about methylation and MTHFR and how important methylation is. But just like NAD Plus exists with an NADH and that balance of NADH and NAD Plus matters, so does the balance of methylation factors as well as demethylation factors. NAD plus turns out to be a demethylator. So when you've got a bunch of demethylation going on in the body, you want to add a bunch of methylation cofactors. So this can be found in TMG pills. You can take those as you do the infusion, before you do the infusion, after you do the infusion, however you want to. I'm still on the fence whether that really does anything or whether your body's just gonna steal the methylation factors it needs from your already existing nutrients in your body, but pretty harmless to do. As far as side effects, this must be mentioned. NAD Plus is one of the things we like to laugh and joke about in the office because it is not fun to get. It is a lot of benefit. We just talked about all the benefits. It's really wonderful benefits and really nothing bad, but the side effects are worth talking about. The interesting part about the side effects before we get into what they are, you need to know that as soon as the infusion is done, the side effects are almost practically completely gone. It is the weirdest thing to watch your IV drip, 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 drip. And as soon as that last drip goes in, your symptoms, I'd say within five to 10 seconds are completely gone. And that's when you get the benefits. For as long as it's flowing, you don't feel the benefits. You feel like death. Um, as soon as it stops, then you get the benefits. So. Don't get too worried when you see these side effects. They're very temporary. And as soon as they're gone, you get the benefits. So literally the symptoms of an NAD plus infusion. Now this also goes for the shots, by the way. The shots are of course lower dose, so lower side effect. And plus the shots are not directly in the IV, so it's not as fast. If you get a shot, generally the side effects kick in about five to 10 minutes, last a maximum of 30 minutes. And then by then you don't even know they're, they're happening, but it's usually much more tolerable than the IV because it's a lot lower dosage. When you're doing infusion um, or, or shots, it's all the same symptoms. When you get pills, this doesn't happen at all. But with this, you start to get malaise and flu. As soon as the first drop hits your veins and goes into your body, you start to just feel very fatigued, very gross. Malaise is just that word that just means like, blah, I just feel blah all over. I feel like I got a virus coming on. And so you feel like you have these flu-like symptoms. 
In addition to that, we're not done. In addition to that, your muscles get really fatigued. Um, when I do an NED shot or do an infusion and I'm at my stand-up desk right here, I can't even stand. It's so tiring. My legs feel so heavy that I have to sit down. It's a very unusual sensation. At the same time, your chest gets tight and you get shorter breath. Um, these are all, of course, dose dependent. The faster you go, the more you get, the more these symptoms happen. Um, so the chest tightness, shortness of breath is not really anything's going on. It's not a heart attack or anything. It's just the side effects of the NAD plus going into your blood, uh, into your body and causing these chemical reactions to happen that give you these symptoms. At the same time as all that going on, you can get bowel cramps and many of our patients actually have a bowel movement while the infusion is going and need to uh, pause and go to the restroom and then come back and finish. That's something I haven't been able to understand, but it happens commonly. And then last but not least is brain fog. Some of our patients bring their laptop where they're doing their infusion, because remember, this can be an infusion that lasts anywhere from one to four hours, depending on the dose. And if they go too fast, they will even tell me, and I've done it too and noticed this, if you go too fast, you literally just turn brain stupid and can't accomplish anything. So there's a magic balance between going too fast and just being useless for three hours, or going a little bit slower and being useful for four hours. Um, and so these are all dose dependent and, and speed dependent. And once again, just to remind you, as soon as the infusion stops, the symptoms practically go away. The severity always depends on the speed of infusion. So this is an infusion where we, we teach people how to use the dial to speed up or slow down, because basically it's up to you how quickly you wanna get it in and get it over with, but it's not without suffering. So when to start NAD plus treatments? The answer is yesterday at any point, any point in your journey, anywhere you are. The deal is that it's best after, we don't use NAD plus a lot of times in the early stages of healing. It's best after your hormones are balanced, your adrenals are balanced, your sexual hormones, your testosterone, estrogens are balanced, your thyroid is normal, your gut is restored after you've detoxified. We call that lipid exchange in our practice, uh, aggressive detoxification. And after you've done chelation, which is the process of removing heavy metals. NAD Plus can help you at any point in this journey, before, during, or after, but it has its biggest, most profound benefit when your body already wants to generate it, already wants to put it to use, and then you give yourself the infusion, then it works better. Before these things are balanced, I would encourage you to do more lipid exchange infusions, which are detox infusions, or chelation infusions, or just general liver detox support. Get the body actually producing its own NAD Plus before you try to give it too much extra. Um, it will have diminishing returns. As far as NAD plus frequency, how often do I do it? Um, everyone's a little different. The, the basics of it is that our NAD plus levels are dropping over time. So you need constant uh, dosing. The more you do, the better. The less you do, you just gotta uh, survive on your own in between. And so if you're getting started, I like to say for intramuscular shots, that's the IM shots in your, your muscle, uh, either your shoulder or your butt. Uh, I like to do 100 milligrams, which is one ml for us. And you do that once a day for two weeks. That regenerates the levels, builds those levels up. And then once you do that for two weeks, then you can do 100 milligrams once a week and feel the benefits. But of course you wanna titrate it based on symptoms. I had a mountain biker that felt really good when he did it once a week. So he started doing it twice a week, then three times a week and found that happy medium between his pocketbook and where he felt like the NED Plus was, was working well enough to keep going. As far as the IV world and how often do I do it, there's a bunch of different stuff out there. I'm not a big fan of the 10 days really aggressive. That's a lot of time in the office. It, it seems like it's diminishing returns to do it too quickly back to back. But the standard dosing is my preferred, as I talked about in the dosing. The standard dosing is about 500 milligrams and it's 250 to 500 standard. I like the 500 milligrams once a week just as kind of a maintenance and, and a boost and you keep going. That helps with the anti-aging, helps with the the, the youth, the energy building, but it's not necessarily overwhelming. You're not just spending your entire day in a doctor's office. That being said, the high dose protocols are well known to be those daily, um, everyday infusions to really um, uh, get that boulder over the hill and push it over the other side. So if you're in the earlier phases of treatment and really wanna get the energy benefits out of it, you would do one of the high dose protocols or for addiction, uh, we do the high dose protocols. So that's a thousand milligrams. Remember, that's, that's a long infusion. That's not a lot of fun. It's a three to four hour infusion. Sometimes patients even take longer. And that's a thousand milligrams once a day for 10 straight days. And then after that, your maintenance would be a thousand milligrams once a week. 
At that point, you can also decrease from 1,000 milligrams to 750 or 500. At that point, it's, it's, it's ultimately important to um, titrate your, your dose based on how you feel. If you feel great at 500, then why do you need 1,000? That's just more suffering, more pain without the, the symptoms. So don't believe you just need to do NAD plus more and more and more is beneficial. There is a diminishing returns. There is a limit that you'll notice for your body. Okay. As far as our practice, we have um, both NAD plus shots. We have NAD infusions, which we were just talking about. Um, if you want to get started, call our office. We see both our member patients that, that are seeing our practitioners, but we also take in people that are non-members. Our members get a 10% off discount uh, for their infusions, for their shots, um, but non-members just get a, uh, the regular price. If you want to contact us, our phone number's on there. Our email's info at oobmedical.com. Website is oobmedical.com also. So hopefully this presentation of NAD Plus helped you out and helped you understand NAD Plus and maybe encouraged you to go ahead and get your first shot or do your first infusion. I'd love for you to subscribe to our channel and uh, leave me a comment, leave a suggestion, question, and um, good luck with your NAD Plus.